The spring season is upon us, and we are here with golf head coach Zach Zedrick for a preview of their upcoming match. Coach, how do you prepare for the team to get back into action after the long break? Um, well, the guys have done a good job of um, practicing quite a bit on their own. We had in the month of January, during the January term, uh, we did have a few guys here on campus, and uh, there are uh, NCAA rules in place that, if it's voluntary, that would allow those guys to, to work with me a little bit if they request it. And, um, you know, fortunately, they, they requested a lot of time, so I was able to spend a lot of time with a few of our guys. Uh, and then we had um, everyone else, uh, including one of the guys that was in Oxford, were in Florida um, for anywhere from five days to about three, three and a half weeks. So um, a lot of really good prep was done on their own. So I really commend the guys for their their work ethic over the break. And uh, we've been pretty fortunate with the weather. This will be today's Tuesday. This will be our fourth day outside playing golf, um, which is four more days than the last two years combined uh, before this tournament. So um, the main thing is just as much head-to-head -head competition as possible. Match play is a very different format. You're not only playing the golf course, but you also have to factor in what your opponent's doing. So literally every single drill or game we've played has involved one guy versus another. So um, I think the prep's been pretty good. As you said, um, the prep for a match play tournament is different. Is there any specifics on how you prepare for this type of tournament format? Uh, like I said, it's just, uh, you know, anything we do, any drill we do, we just turn it into one guy versus another. A lot of the stuff we do because of the f five count four format, uh, the rest of the year, it's usually a group of guys trying to accomplish a goal together. Now, ultimately, we're trying to, as a team, win all of our matches, but everyone's out there individually. So um, everything we do is has been just to, you know, that kind of one-on-one -on -one pressure, you know, you've got to perform and you've got to beat the guy that, that you're competing with. So that's been the main change. Uh, our guys love it. They've really enjoyed it and embraced it. And, and it, like I said, it's been a great uh, two and a half weeks so far. What do you expect from the competition to look like at the tournament? Um, well, you know, it's, it's a lot of Midwestern and Northern schools, so we're all kind of coming out of the same stuff. But, um, you know, we always – I continue to talk about how – with our guys, like if we're in good shape, if if we're ready to go, um, you know that's what gives ourselves the best chance to win. You know, we could have, you could have a team that is maybe not ranked very high that shows up and plays like one of the best teams in the country. So, um, you know, I expect every match to be hard. We always, you know, say expect, you know, the very best out of whoever you're playing, and and if they're not quite there, then you're ready to take advantage of it. So, what do you expect from the Lake Jotiva South Course? Uh, we've been there. Um, this will be so. This is my sixth year at Miami. This will be the sixth time we've been down there. Um, it's you know, even though it's in Florida, it's very much a Midwestern golf course. Um, the vegetation's a little different than a lot of Florida courses. Uh, uh, just the routing and the way the greens are shaped uh, are very similar to what we see in the Midwest. So, and there, there's really uh, Bermuda grass tends to have a lot of grain in it, but these greens have very little grain, which which can be difficult to transition to if you're coming from the north. So. Um, it's like I said, we've got a lot of local knowledge, so our guys will be ready to go. Who will be representing Miami at the tournament? So I'll we'll have Patrick Flavin, uh, Brian Orr, Greg Conrad, um, Cal Callahan Elsey, Cam Solomon, and JD Fletcher.